Hello my lovely friends, my lovely YouTube friends, how are you today? This is Mr. A and I am bringing you another battle on Rome Total War. Now this was a um, YouTube challenge, this was, with Cyrus the Great. I'll leave his um, uh, link to his channel in the description. Um, I thought it was just going to be him just putting these on his channel, but um, he said why don't you put them on your channel It'd be good for everyone to see your perspective of the battles so I thought well why not let's let's go on to it so this was a three uh, battle like challenge should I say um, it's on a scale that well not a scale but on a um, type of game that I don't usually play this is um, CWB rules you know, and I, I don't usually play CWB rules. I usually do 31k. Um, but as Cyrus asked me, you know, because he's such a great, great guy, and um, he did ask me to do one battle on Rome Total War, one battle on Barbarian Inva Invasion, and one battle on um, Medieval Total War 2. Uh, we couldn't do the uh, second battle on. Uh, Barbarian Invasion because I have uh, my version doesn't work properly I've tried to play it uh, but my screen just flashes constantly so uh, I couldn't play it so basically we've had to do two battles on Rome Total War and then one battle on Medieval Total War and as you probably know I've never done an online battle on uh, Medieval Total War so you know it, it, it's a first for me so basically what I've brought here is I've brought um, CWB rules um, like an army so I've brought heavy archers or heavy on the archers I've brought six units of normal archers two units of Cretan archers I brought one levy pikemen two raw pikemen six companion cavalry which are all gold gold and I've brought some light lancers that are over here in the um, forest over here but these will be found out so um, I thought I might be able to find them out and then over here Cyrus has got a unit of Roman cavalry which is just down here um, which I will find out eventually because um, he will come to attack so we're gonna um, have a bit of a skirmish now so I've got one two three four five six units here he's got a peasant over here um, but what I do do is I do take on these peasants which is a bit of a stupid idea you know it wastes a lot of um, archer fire plus it gives Cirrus the time to um, shoot my archers but what I'm doing is I'm just um, going for his archers at the moment now I do actually press on the archers but these um, peasants get in the way so um, as you can see he's splitting up his cavalry he's coming towards this um, these hidden units over here these light lances that I thought I could use for taking out these archers here but I don't see this quick enough um, so he catches one unit of my light lances here with his Praetorian cav and they just eat them all, eat them up so he's doing a really good job there with taking out one of my cavalry units um, and as you can see he's bringing around uh, some more cavalry units over here so he has the cav advantage here because here's our Praetorian cav and they're gold gold so I've had to bring over my war pikemen just to try and help my cavalry units um, and I've spread them out a little bit so you know should be okay uh, I'm not actually firing at any of these peasants here I'm trying to fire at these guys over here uh, because in CWB the archers mean everything pretty much you know you've really got to take them out as you can see he's trying to come round and join up his forces here I've got my cavalry engaging his his Praetorians over here and I've got some um, raw pikemen here I've just gone in the in the back of these um, Praetorians over here let's get a nice little close up 
you know, because Praetorians will take out, um, they will take out these companions here, but because he started to run off, his, his guys started to break, so I brought over, you know, I've had to sort of completely leave my archers undefended, pretty much, but I'm um, focusing fire on all his cavalry at the moment, well, I will be when his cavalry attacks over here. Um, I will be focusing fire on his cavalry. He's trying to go for my general over here, which is a good idea, especially against Macedon. Because Macedon's um, morale is not the best. As you can see, I'm going for his cavalry. Um, that is the biggest threat at the moment. But he's not moved his infantry. If he had moved his infantry up, um, this would have been completely a different game because these guys would have been running away which means I wouldn't have been able to fire at any of these um, Victorian cav units so um, as you can see he's going for his, my general here uh, my general is getting attacked from behind I'm just trying to completely surround him now there we go getting a nice charge now luckily companions have got a really good charge bonus I've got this unit of raw pikemen in here up against these um, Praetorian Cav. Here comes another unit of companions. It's just going to break them. And then that's pretty much the end of the um, cavalry for the, um, the Romans. So this is pretty much the end of the game. Because with no Cav now, um, these urbans, even though they are m really, really good, you know, it's, it, it's pretty much end game now. Um, I've still got my Cretan archers fully intact now these could be used as my melee troops as well um, so that's fine I was chasing off the the, jet, the um, these Praetorians as much as I could I'm just trying to re regroup all my forces so I can take on these urban cohorts here so we've still got this peasant unit over here he's still got a few um, archer units here but I've got quite a few archer units I've still got these Cretan archers here I need to be you know worrying about these guys here but as long as I um, hammer an anvil as much as I can then I should be able to win this battle so let's just fast forward it because it is pretty much the end of the battle not much more you, you know I just need to as I say need to hammer an anvil I'm just trying to clean up some some of these peasants over here um, and then as soon as I come in for a flanking attack um, what I need to do is I need to bring these guys out and I need to bring these over um, I'm going to start hitting them with some flame attacks now so it's going to uh, put their morale down quite a lot I've still got this unit here of um, Levy Pikemen and I've still got this unit of raw pikes here so now that they're all engaged I'm gonna come in now with a nice big charge and it should break them all here comes this unit my last, my general unit it should break along with this unit so they've completely surrounded now and there's nothing that they can do so now all we've got now is just an urban cohort unit here that's pretty much it plus you know maybe a archer unit over here that we just need to mop up so that is the end of the game it's a really good game well played to um, Cirrus this is a victory fit for the God. Um, my um, mouse wasn't work working properly here so uh, you might have seen that some of my units were standing still when they should have been moving but um, yeah well, my mouse wasn't working properly so but it was a really really good game really well played to Cirrus he played really really well um, I got 621 kills with 342 men remaining and he got 419 kills with 36 men remaining so um, my companion cavalry you know got quite a lot of experience upgrades uh, the most kills come from my Royal Pikes which is I didn't think that my raw pikes would get the most, um, yeah, most, most kills, yeah, yeah. So um, really well played by Cirrus. Uh, we've got another battle, and I'll put that up um, tomorrow. 
and then the medieval total war one i'll put up the day after so thank you very much for watching and uh part two will be on for tomorrow so thank you very much guys and i'll see you later